are we kind of agreed, the three of us, that the context, you know, maybe it's always the case that the context of human relationships is different and difficult, and then the career uh, uh, relationship uh, balance is difficult, but are we agreed that the context in which a lot of people are trying to have relationships and families and, and significant others and so forth seems to be particularly hard at this moment of history, given everything that's happening, the whole range of things? Is that something that we, the three of us kind of agree on in terms of the need to try to articulate encouragement to people and say, hey, you, you, know, you are not alone in these struggles, similar to what Aaron was just talking about, going out to LA, having this moment of this epiphany and this moment of encouragement. I think, you know, there's all sorts of people that would resonate with that. Um, and in the context of, of these balancing acts being rather difficult, or am I just putting words in your mouth? No, I mean, I think that this is an extraordinarily difficult time. You know, we're coming off the pandemic. We're dealing with, you know, the crisis of global warming. We're dealing with the corruption of Roe v. Wade. I mean, Black Lives Matter. It's like on and on and on. Like there's you know, when I think about, and I've had a conversation with my, you know, parents and in-laws about like stuff they were worried about. Um, you know, they weren't worried about like mass shootings in schools. Like it, the level of stress, I think that parents and caregivers um, mm -hmm. and humans on the earth right now that are experiencing, I think is insane. You know, especially with social media, I feel like I often go to Instagram to disconnect. I call like my followers, my coworkers, because I'm always on there just like chatting or connecting with someone or trying to get coffee. And, you know, you know, oftentimes you're kind of scrolling through to disconnect, you know, to kind of just see the highlight mm -hmm. reel to see what's going on. And then, you know, we have, um, you know, what's happening in Iran with, with women's rights. It's like, it's, it can feel so overwhelming to be so connected at the same time. So I definitely think we're in a, a pinnacle moment of stress <laughs> and also in a, a pinnacle moment of, of kind of revolution and evolution of understanding kind of what we can take on, what we should take on and what we're going to do to kind of make the world a better place mm. without sounding too cheesy. Well, I keep thinking about, you know, that the old world is dying and, you know, what is it? The old world is dying and the new world is struggling to be born. Now is the time of monsters. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just, I feel, I feel like we're, it's just, gosh, it's just such a constant struggle. I feel like we're fighting a terrorist cult every single day. Mm -hmm. We wake up and we fight this terrorist cult that wants to end civilization as we know it. And that's crazy and it's hyperbolic and it's a lot but it feels that way it feels that way it feels like we're constantly under attack by this you know outside force that's internal mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do with that I don't know where to put my my stressors on that being you know I was like in a valley in you know the Alps for a minute and I didn't have to worry about school shootings and I only had to worry about you know was there bread and butter for breakfast and that was such a relief and mm -hmm. It also felt like a betrayal that, you know, I wasn't mm. in this, like this daily struggle that has turned my hair gray over the last like seven years, you know, but I want to be free from that. I want to not have to worry about this stuff anymore. I don't want to have to worry if my women friends are going to be people in the eyes of our government tomorrow. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? That's insane. Aaron. I'm so worried for you. I yeah, don't know what, what to do doing? with that feeling. What are we doing? How, you know, my my marriage could be dissolved by some crazy person, you know? Your, your personhood could be removed from you. It's, mm -hmm. I just don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I feel like it's such a balance of of coping and understanding and staying kind of educated and informed. And then also going to the Alps and worrying about the bread and butter. I don't think that we can hold, I think it can be an and situation where we have both, but I think knowing when to turn it off and to just kind of focus inward and to focus on your house and your, the small things, I feel like that really Honestly, when the pandemic happened, I had just gotten over my first round of postpartum depression and it was like the happiest I'd ever been in my life. <laughs> and then the world closes. And honestly, I was like, what a joy. 
Like, this is great. Like I woke every, up every day with like a positive mental state. It wasn't like suicidal anymore. And so I was just so happy to like be here. Um, and it was such a joy to just like take care of my daughter and just to focus on like getting her dressed and getting her fed and like just the really, really simple, small things. And I felt like everybody in the world kind of fell apart when, when we had to do that. But I do think it's, it can be such a, a nice almost escape in itself to just look outside at the birds and just have that be enough. Mm. 